Today we're going to explore the phenomena of putting out a candle flame with a punch. Is it chi or is it physics? We shall see. The first punch I will execute will be a traditional, um, like a karate or a kung fu punch. And there will be no retraction, it will just be straight into the flame. And uh, the fist will end up close to the flame. So I think uh, according to physics, it would be error putting out the flame. This is pretty simple elementary one. So this next time I'm going to do the same punch, but I'm going to stop my fist further away from the flame to see if I can put it out from six to 12 inches away. Okay, not much luck with that. Putting out a candle flame is not so much an exhibition of power, but more of speed generated by various techniques of punching. In this next um, punch, I'm going to use Bruce Lee's Jikundo Whip Punch to generate the force. And again, I will stop pretty close to the flame and then I'll move back and see if I can put out the flame from a little bit distance away. So that was uh, about three inches away, just not that, not that far away, but the force was generated by the whip of my body rather than a traditional straight over punch. In the Jikundo whip punch, the arm is traveling Pretty good amount of distance generated by the whip of the body, kind of like a hulu. Uh, we'll go into explaining that punch in uh, another video. Um, but it's not like a one inch punch. It's generated quite a good distance. So I'm going to step back and see if I can do the flame from about a foot away, generating the same force with the whip punch. Nope, nope. Okay, so pretty far away, took two tries. The third punch we'll try is the Wing Chun one inch punch. Actually, if uh, you're measuring, it's gonna be about three inches away, but the fist will end up close to the flame. Starts off with an extended, like, like that. And it's generated um, differently than Bruce Lee's whip punch, but it's generated by uh, collapse. And this one was learned from James DeMille, who uh, studied with Bruce Lee in Seattle. Here we'll be using Uwe Fajin from a uh, good distance away using palm. So not very much initial movement, just basically exertion of power in a short distance. Again, we're using the concept of collapse from the body to create the power and a short stroke creating wind, but it's like you have to keep the wind concentrated enough to put the flame out. Again here we're using Fa Jin from 
a good distance away using the palm to create power.